guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of Gayon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Mm. Okay, kind of hoping that this one, because of the fact is I downloaded the episode not on GoGo. I downloaded them on the original site that I downloaded. Hopefully, there's no pony getting on this episode because there wasn't one on eight. There was only one on seven, so, but I'm not going to know until we uh, get to the end of the opening. Oh, that's cold. But that felt good. <laughs> okay, no pony can. Thank God. Uh -huh. Well, at least she made it. Oh my god, Yui. You gotta stay awake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, she's getting distracted. I swear to God, these two girls. Good. <laughs> I know, right? 
See, no, you you say that, and then by the time you get home, you know, you're going to have ooey, just make your food, chill, and go to sleep. Excuse me. Oh, dang. Let me guess, you want to do something for her? And you didn't end up studying. Really? Yep, and you have to follow through. Just seeing her study is just oh, amazing. Thank you, baby. Even though she's getting distracted. That's okay. That's the fine thing. Just, you know, study twice as hard. Okay, the best time to go to Walmart or Target. Yeah. Well, keep going. You got this. Hmm. You study. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. No, soy sauce. It's gonna be too much. Mm. That's a little too close. Oh. 
No, you need a soy sauce. Well, you should have got it. Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, it sounds a little too much, both finals and a talent show. And specifically, the fact is, yes, it is after finals. Like don't make don't get me wrong. It's a really nice gift and a sweet gesture for her to do, but like ugh. <laughs> okay. Well, she could perform for a full time by herself. I think she could be able to do it. I mean, she knows the chord. She can do it acoustically. No, I think it's a common mistake for you, baby, because I think you are the only person in the world who mixes up soy sauce and sugar. Now, sugar and salt, yes, everybody possibly has done that once in their life. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Just do four four time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. We don't, sorry. Practice, study, study, practice, back and forth. Okay, let's see. Oh my, honey, you gotta take it seriously. You're gonna graduate soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's okay. Mm. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> that makes me hungry. After this, I'm gonna eat. There you go. Almost like Carol and Tuesday in a way, except you didn't take the first parts of your names or half your names, whatever. Oh, Stella trying something. Are you okay? Because it's finals. Uh, uh the rules. Wait until finals are over. The heck was she doing with the eraser? Playing with it? Oh my god. You need to wake up. Just keep going, you're almost done. Oh god, don't fall asleep, please. <laughs> Let her sleep. Go for like 20, 30 seconds.
the heck? I don't think they were done. Uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> you know, I, I really enjoyed this. This the fact that she was nice enough to do this for this lady, which is sweet. Like just from the heart. Oh my god, just oh too much feels on this episode today. But I, I really thought that it would have been like the funny thing. I was like, I'm like, yeah, just before Food Bullet Time. I mean, it's the easiest song out of all of their songs. They know the chord. It's the song that they perform the most out of like anything else. Because as of right now, we've only seen them do like a couple of songs between season one and season two. So, yeah. Plus, it'd be nice to just have two people sing the song. Even though there's already technically two people singing the song plus chorus and stuff, but it would have been nice to hear like an acoustic version of it. And I kind of hope that there is a at least one song in this series that is very acoustic, where you don't need a lot of things. You just need a couple of things, like just guitars and use your hands as the drum drum screech on. Huh? I don't know about the keyboard, but you can't really use the keyboard in a acoustic song. So, but yeah. It was nice. It's sad that they didn't get the prize, like the main main prize, but a consolation prize is just as much important as a hot spring. It ain't no hot spring, though, but it was nice. And th that's the thought that matters at the end of the day. And it was sweet to have Yui and Azanyan come together to do this. But first having Yui and then Azanyan. Sabotan, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> the club is like my boyfriend right now. Oh, she's gotta have... Uh, like, no, 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 because see, this is what happens, and it normally happens like this. You think your teacher is seeing someone, and then you try to go spy on your teacher, and it's either a one or two... No, it's either one of, like, three or four things. One, she possibly has another job. Two, she's just maybe going out drinking with, like, a bunch of people. It could be friends, whoever. Um, three, I was about to say two or four. Um, three, it could be just whatever. And then possibly four, she could actually have a boyfriend. Now, I mean, yeah, I can ultimately think when I look at her, because she is a very nice woman, and such, and she wants to be in a relationship just like any other woman, you know, even myself, even though I am in a relationship with my boyfriend and stuff. Um, she's the only, she's only talked about her relationship or her wanting to be in a relationship like once in a blue moon. Not constantly every single episode, but anytime when the girls are talking about love or whatever, you know, something, it comes up. So, to finally have an episode that is going to focus on Sawachan Sensei, I think is really interesting. Um, and a really smart way to go because she's the only one out of everyone who has gotten an episode focused on them. And I'm like, I know she she's important, but not as important. She's like a minor character, not a major character. Um, as, you know, the girls are. And so she's not going to be in every single episode, of course. And I kept thinking, like, you know, there should be one about her. It just 
a day in her life. Not where it's like, um, typically how with some animes you get to see an entire episode from beginning to end of a day in such and such's life. It could be the day in, I don't think Yugi ever freaking did it, but in, in a day in Yugi's life, Taya's life, Tristan, whoever, like in any type of show where instead of us going to that main character, we're going to somebody else for like a day. Because I mean, the last two episodes of Overlord that I just watched for the second season, they currently are now doing it where it's not Ions, it's lizard people. And yeah, but that's all. Alright, go ahead, pause the video, go get episode 10. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Sabotage. See, that could be a family member as well. Who knows? You know, there was one more thing I wanted to ask about the manga. Does the manga always um, also go into uh, Salwatron's POV and how she's possibly doing after this? Yes. That's the same thing. The two. I actually don't think that could happen, but I mean, you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. Boyfriend. Hmm. Well. How y'all know her no more root? Y'all be stalking her? Dang. No.
This is a bad idea. Oh no, I've seen this scene before. Yeah. This was like, mm, I don't know when. I think it was maybe about like a year or two ago. Mm. Girls love, that's fine. And y'all could have just went home. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god, you're gonna jump! Oh, thank god. I'm way too close. Well, if you didn't drop Ginta, you were fine. Mm-mm. Order food. Oh, that sounds good. You eat like something. Yeah. Yeah, so then just get a smaller version of it. There's nothing over. Oh, my God, you wait, Cody. Oh. <laughs> yes. Dang, you're so good at it.
Right? Seriously? <laughs> okay. Uh, my though. What I look like. Yeah. Like something extravagant, you know? No, no, no. It's nice, different, but nice. Of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Because <laughs> she's never gotten in trouble before. <laughs>
Just joking. <laughs> Dang, with her hair up like that, she looks like Rico from, um, Idol Master. Well, yeah, that's because you're not up there. <laughs> yes! Mm -hmm. Gotta go up there. I can kind of see where they got the vibe for Afterglow for this song. <laughs> What's up, Pop?
Come here. Oh. Hello, sir. Dang. That kind of makes me wonder, like, why we couldn't have, like, a prequel series of her instead of just seeing, like, bits and pieces. It's okay, though. No, it's okay! You did good! Uh It just, to me, it would have been nice if they could have done it. But, I mean, I understand, you know, at the time when this show came out, you can't really have everything. But if they couldn't do an anime on it, they could have did, like, um, a prequel manga. And it makes me wonder if they probably did that. Because if they, if it's current, like, in stone that they've done a manga, like, after, you know, four of the girls graduate, Azumiyan's still in uh, high school while everybody else is going to college, then maybe, just maybe... They did one on Savage Hunt Sensei. But to have an episode, another, I think this is like really the second or third episode, kind of really focus on her. But it, mm, the beginning started like how she was the one who was talking. I feel like I'm a bird. Okay. Uh, she was the one who was talking first, which was really nice. It, but really, no, at the same time, it was kind of, it was more Moogie. Moogie talked first, then Savage Hunt, but you know, kind of move that over and just know it's all, it was all about Savage Time. But her, for her to come out and do like one more performance for her friend at her wedding reception, that was so sweet. I mean, that's the memories that they'll have for the rest of their lives and they could just reminisce about it. And it was sweet. You, oh, okay, puppy, here. Because you want my hand so much. It's right there. But it was a good episode. Probably one of my favorites. Makes me wonder, like, if one of them got married and be like, I want to have just a little time to come back. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hi. That makes sense, because, you know, it, it looked like it was summertime. So, yeah, Florida in a nutshell, always freaking hot. But, yeah, it was, this episode and the previous episode were both good, but I think if I had to choose between the two, I, I think this would be my personal favorite for the two. So, finally, like I said, have one on Salvatron, even though in season one there were episodes that did focus on her and specifically her past, but to go more in depth of the past, having someone from her group asked the girls to try to get her um to just do one more like a reunion concert because that's clearly what it was and no matter how many things they tried and then unfortunately Sawachan finally comes when they're at the dang wedding I mean seriously that probably was the highlight of the dang episode and just to see her in her element when you see someone especially her who it, who used to be a musician and who is now a teacher when you look at someone as a teacher, you don't really think that they could be someone like this from their past. And specifically also with her or even any person who I've met in the past where they're like, oh, hey, I used to do this. And then you look at them like, really? You really used to do that? And then you kind of either have to look at pictures or videos of something from their past to see how it was like when they were younger. And I think it was a really interesting episode. And it makes me hopeful for, like, episode, 
any of the other episodes, hold on, Cody, um, if they ever truly do any more where it goes into the past. They could, but then at the same time of the episode length and possibly what could maybe come next, I don't think they could. At the same time, plus this show came out years ago, so I, I, I ain't gonna know until I get to the next freaking preview, but as of an episode that's gonna be about nothing but it being hot, I can understand that in a nutshell because here in Florida, it is always hot. It, you know, sometimes we go through the whole season in about a week. Um, and then typically everybody's like, no, like when it's winter, it's all nice and warm here. And not all the time. Trust me. It's usually sometimes either not really, really cold. It's cold where you can wear maybe two jackets or even a, like a really light coat, but still it's cold. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of K-On. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Tuesday for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.